Uh, we're excited to actually have everybody here today. Uh, Demi Bell is a good friend of mine here in Boise, Idaho, and we're actually in .com Secrets, the the global domination Ripplin headquarters. And so, just a bunch of good people. It's Friday. A bunch of folks are heading off to uh, go camping for the weekend. We wanted to give you something really special before uh, for the weekend, so that you can share this, hang out with friends. Demi has rocked it with other companies. She's uh, an internet marketer. She's a network marketer. She's a phenomenal coach, and so it's been really exciting to, for us to get to lock arms and get to work together on a project because Ripplin is that one thing that is like epic where we can all play together. You know, we always have people in other companies like, well, my company's like my company can beat up your company. Right now. <laughs> you <know>? That's true, <laughs> right? So it's fun to, to be involved with a project that allows us to go global, work together. It helps our our other companies uh, if we have them. But and for those of us who are all in with Ripplin to do something really truly amazing and I get to play with people like Denley. So welcome to the Hangout, Denley. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi everyone. Thank you for having me. I'm so blessed that I get to live here in the same city as you and I have access to you and Russell. It's it's really, really nice. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, that's super exciting. I appreciate you taking the time out today. So um, I guess uh, what I'd like to cover is on this hangout, I want to really dig into what you are super passionate about with the company. I want to give some folks really up front here some of the the background of the company. As the the title of the Hangout suggests, this is kind of a behind the curtain peek. We've had some really unique situations to where we know the owners of the company um, been working together for, for a lot of years. I met Brian 13 years ago in an e-commerce project. Love the guy. Uh, we're, we're good friends first and we get to work uh, in business together second which is, is awesome so I'm one of those people that I, I choose to work with my friends so he's one of those great guys and he gave me a call in 2009 after the economy went like this and it went like this for us in 2007 so we had two years of reinvention but we also know that in times of massive change comes massive opportunity uh, we learned that most people don't get that they just get depressed and they freak out and we were stressed it was challenging, but we were super optimistic that something amazing was going to happen. So I got a phone call from Brian in late 2009. He says, look, I don't care if you do this. He says, but get down to Las Vegas. I want you to talk to my partners. Uh, we've got a project I think you'll find interesting at the very least. And so I have learned that when Brian Underwood calls and says, jump a plane, you jump a plane. Because it's always been very fulfilling and very financially rewarding on the other end of that. So true to form, we went down to Las Vegas and... Uh, that's when I realized that in 2007, one economy died, and it's, it's gone. It's gone forever. So, but a whole other economy was born, and you all know what I'm talking about. That was the year, and Steve Jobs is not solely responsible for what's happened, but that is the year that he launched the first version of the iPhone, right? Now, very quickly in 2009, the Internet population had doubled. How is that possible? It's possible because prior to that, everybody accessed the Internet through laptops and PCs. Right? right exactly. So, so there's kind of stationary. And it was an amazing economy that's taking place. Well, with smart and mobile devices connecting to the web, everybody's got a computer at the end of their arm. So it doubled the population of the Internet. There's now 5 billion mobile devices on the planet. And very shortly, they will all be connected to the Internet. So that's going to double it again, which for those of you who understand numbers and, and eyeball acquisition, that's a huge opportunity for those of us, all, not just us marketers, but everybody. Like our friend Linda Lane we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. She's a grandma, works from home in Florida, and she's crushing it because she has access to all these people all over the planet. So this this company really is perfect for her um, because it gives her that global reach. And if she doesn't have to be at home. She can be on the beach. She can be with her grandkids. And that's one of the things we love about this. So Brian showed me that. And the second thing he showed me was the fact that in 2007, Denali held a meeting the other night with some professionals here in Boise. She's tapped into a lot of business professionals here. And we were asked the question, how many of you were on Facebook in 2007? There's about 30 people in the room. One person raised his hand. That was it. And so how many people raise their hands today? Everybody does, right? It is this new, it is the internet. It's where people go first. And so that has completely changed the way people are communicating and being communicated to, and they're communicating on this. more today than ever before. And that's only going to go up. More and more people will access their information through mobile devices. And so that was trend number two. And then the third trend that he uh, really described, which is uh, really started us into the rippling conversation was apps. I think you all, I don't know if you guys have seen the social network, the movie about Zuckerberg and Facebook. When that movie came out and Angry Birds and, you know, Angry Birds has cereal. 
it's got t-shirts right i know <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> they have great marketing distribution for all of their products product distribution totally. it's, it's great they've done a great job huge and you, so we say they have done a great job the reality is of it they made a cool game but we did a great job because yes. nobody went to, to google and searched out these apps 99% of the time people find out about apps through friends and family members so we sent them to the app store and to the the Android market to download this game and it became a, just a culture in and of itself same thing with Facebook and so what Brian was really asking the question is like look that company Facebook is now worth 64 billion dollars we created that how much money did we get we have the experience and the fun fulfilling experience of being able to communicate on Facebook we didn't get a dime right wouldn't that be nice if everybody you connected to on Facebook, you made some money off of, or you sent a Starbucks coffee card to. Or even a penny. <laughs> Take a penny, they stack up, right? Exactly. So you got that with Facebook. You've got Angry Birds who's gone crazy. And the question that Brian had is, why is there no transparency here? Why is it that we're not being paid for these for these transactions that are taking place? Because there was a, there is an app, rather, that came out just recently called Clash of Clans, and it's a free app download. Now, remember how people get it. They're told to go to the, the app store or to the Android market by a friend or family member. They download it for free, but then they do what, this is just human nature, you guys. They download it for free. They share it with their friends, right? Again, we share it out to people so we can play Clash of Clans with one another. And then the buddy I sent it out to starts beating me within the game, and I don't like that. So I realized that I can tap a button and do an in-app purchase for $2.50 all the way up to 100 bucks. Believe it or not, they do it. And they start tapping those buttons, you get more weapons, more food, more energy, and you can beat your buddy in that game. It's nothing but an experience, right? Exactly. Clash of Clans makes a million dollars per day on in-app purchases. Free download, right? The apps. One game. One game. That's one game. Oh, and by the way, Apple's um, about ready to hit the 50 billion app download mark. That's exciting. So That's there's so much money in this, guys, that it's it's un it's just it's un imaginable for most people because see now the app store gets 30 percent take on that for having it in the app store so they get 300 grand per day who shared that app we did why are we not getting paid so enter the conversation of a gentleman by the name of Aton Elbaz now he's a consultant to our company good friends with Brian Underwood known him for several years and Aton now owns a company called Scopely and awesome company um, let me give you a little backstory on Aton by the way Aton and his brother Gil started a company um, called Applied Semantics. They sold that to Google. It's now called Google AdSense. So these are big deals. Wonderful guys, but they're a big deal in this 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 market. So after they left, he left Google. He started Scopely. He download or creates games and apps. And here's the scenario: is like, why would we pay you two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to have fifty thousand apps downloaded for free in the next ten days? Why would we have you do that? Well, if you talk to John Carter, who owns Mogul, which is an app that has to do with restaurants, you can Google it, look it up. He says, we pay between 9 and $40 per customer acquisition per download. They're paying banner ads. They're, they're putting out advertisements all over the place. They're paying other people, but not us. But they would rather pay us. And that's why Aton says, yeah, I'll pay you that, $250,000 for 50,000 app downloads in the next 10 days. These are free app downloads. Why, again, are they paying that? John Carter just answered the question. She's paying between nine and forty dollars per app download in traditional advertising. So that is a huge thing for us, you guys. Can you imagine the benefits to app developers, game developers, to run their app or game through our Ripple, and we can say download this app for free, and we get compensated for downloading it for free and sharing it for free. It's win-win. It's win for the app and game developers, and it's win for us. So that's where the conversation started with Ripplin. And it's come way more than that. In fact, I didn't even plan this, but if you guys look at that, that's an Amazon receipt. Do you notice how there's an arrow from the A to the Z? It started out as a book company, right? No, that was a marketing strategy for them to get market penetration into the market and gain trust. They sent you a book, they gave you a discount, it showed up, you like Amazon. You start talking about it and talking to your friends about it, and lo and behold, pretty soon, You've got Amazon has distribution points all over the planet. It's the number one place people go to shop online first before going anywhere else. So they used books to gain trust and market share. And once they've done that and got distribution, they can market anything that they choose and they do. They sell books, they sell batteries, they sell phones, you can buy movie tickets, everything. And you and I can market on Amazon. Okay? So let's I'll close the circle up. What Brian showed us 14 months ago 
has come into a whole new uh, platform, so to speak. What Rippling is, the way I see it, is you've got Amazon.com, you've got Facebook, you've got LinkedIn, and I've put all those together, and out the bottom of that is Rippling. You see, Amazon is a great company, and I <laughs> spend a lot of money there. Now, Russell spends a lot more money there, like a thousand bucks a month on books. I don't know what you spend there. I, I spend a lot. I've got that prime shipping, so I buy everything. <laughs> I buy my shampoo, One my touch. conditioner. I buy everything because it's free shipping. It's, Isn't that cool? And it's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper. One touch. Buy, buy, buy. It's kind of dangerous, man. I'm starting to buy music like at a rapid rate, which is every time my <laughs> bank statement comes in, my wife freaks out. It's like, what's this? So that's Guns N' Roses. What's that? That's the Lumineers, <laughs> man. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's the way it goes. But the point of that is, is we have this, the social platforms. You will be able to see your ripples. And the way that works is Amazon, wouldn't it have been great if Amazon had connected everybody as they were connecting, mm -hmm. you know, sharing that out mm -hmm. through book reviews, right? Exactly. But it was a different time frame in the marketplace, so they didn't. It didn't make sense for them to do that. They can't backtrack, but we can start and go forward. So this invite system that we've got through, through Ripplin, that's the equivalent of the Amazon book. Every time somebody goes to start my Ripple and enters your code, they're connected to you. And when they share it out and they put in those codes, they're connected to you and to them. And so now when you've got these global ripples, they're all connected. So can we move an app through that, through the ripple? Absolutely. But we can move games. We can move physical products. We can move coaching products. You can actually move products through the ripple. So it is an epic game changer. And that's part of the reason we're, well, that's the reason we're so excited. Because literally, for the first time, I truly believe ever, that this device, you can work anywhere you choose, whether it's the beach, whether it's in the mountains, you know, in the Sawtooth Mountains, from the sidelines of your child's sporting event, you can be building a business. And that's the new economy. It's only getting started. It's the social, mobile, commerce economy, and you're all our first. So that's Ripplin. And now I'm off. The, I'm stepping down off of the soapbox. <laughs> So, it's exciting. Well, tell us what you're so fired up about with it, Emily. You know, there are so many things I love about it. I'll try and kneel it down to just a few, or we could be on the, the call all day. Oh, this is the four-hour hangout today, just so you know. <laughs> it could possibly be. You'll just have to Dodgers. cut me off. Cut me off. So, you know, something you said about following Brian Underwood. Yeah. Um, as I've gotten to know him and throughout this process, if he told me to jump off a ship, I probably would at this point. I mean, the man is a genius. If he tells me to do something, I'll probably likely do it. Why is future. that, though? So what's he You know, this whole process, um, first of all, his his first business, I'm actually a huge fan of. <laughs> that cool. uh, Not his first business, but Isaac. Yeah. Then I know 2.0 uh, platform. Right there. Right there. Right. I'm a huge fan of that. But also, his genius and how he has rolled this out and strategized um, I didn't see it at first, to be honest. I was a little frustrated with it. I was a little little irritated. But I think what this invitation process and the whole um, information and how he's disseminating to us is fine and it's perfect and it's working and that's why we're at 600,000. Yeah. Okay, so we've done it my way. I don't know that we'd be at 600,000. <laughs> right. Let's just blast it to all our friends. But um, even even the information and in, in the ways disseminating it is is creating excitement. So next week we get more information. The following week we get a little bit more information before we roll out, and it's gonna, it's creating this buzz, and yeah. it's it's exciting. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Brian Underwood, um, first and foremost. He's but I love this company. So I love how the product, I love the initial product that we're getting. And the reason is, is because what you just said earlier, too, we get to play together. Yeah. You know, normally in our local climate, we're competitive a little bit. And I've always liked Troy. <laughs> I've always, you know, probably wanted to do business with you on some level, but maybe hadn't had the opportunity to. What is cool about this business is it's for everyone. There is nobody that can't do this. I have have an Olympic athlete, a retired Olympic athlete that's yeah. 75 on our team that is doing crazy things and we've got 18 year olds crushing it. So oh, you've got filmmakers, yeah, you've got have, big name people. We do. We've got some famous people and what excites me about them is is the reason they're excited too is you know they're they can push a product through this ripple. They're excited about bringing bringing people on, so they yeah. bring people on, so they bring people on, so we have a filmmaker who's got a movie coming out next year, she's building her ripple, so when it comes out she can just say, hey, I got a new movie coming yeah. out, why don't you guys go stop in the theater and watch it? Right, well, and with that being, knowing the film industry just a little bit, when you're trying to create a film, 
one of the primary things that investors ask you is, do you have distribution locked up? Mm -hmm. And most people are like, well, no, I need your money before I get distribution, <laughs> right? It's really a catch-22. But the reality is with digital downloads today, you could run, guys, there's technology. This thing goes a lot bigger than it. we have time to really talk about, but it just makes sense, right? You can watch a movie from your phone, right? So if you're a filmmaker and you run a, uh, you push a message through a ripple of half a million people and say, download this movie, you think you'll get a few folks who do that. So is that distribution? That's distribution. Exactly. And if it's great, it will go viral, just like we're yeah. going viral right now, which is so exciting. And, you know, the thing that I think separates this company, Bart, if, if you're in internet marketing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, the thing that separates us is we're not modifying anybody's behavior. Right. We're not telling you you need to lose weight, you need to, <laughs> you know, take this magic potion and you'll feel better, drink this magical juice. We are doing something that is not modifying anyone's behavior. We're going to just pay you for doing what you already do. You're already sharing apps, you're already on Facebook, you're already on social media outlets. Let's just pay you for it. And that excites me. It's pretty huge. <laughs> Will you play the people's habits? <laughs> like, yes, yes, yeah. Just, just keep doing what you're doing and we'll pay you. I love, yeah, that's... That's huge. And what you shared something about, um, like what people are doing on Facebook. And I've had some questions, you know, people ask, are you competing with Facebook? It's like, man, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> you know, don't, don't compete with, with the internet. No. So it's all, it's synergy, it's inter interfacing, it's communication, it's just in addition to. And we truly believe that, uh, that like with our communication tool, and by the way, the app project, that's again, we've had the unfair advantage because Denali's seen way more than most people because she's been to some of these events and seen the curtain pulled back. We saw the app, the actual platform, six months ago. So does it exist? Yeah, it exists. But like Denali says, Brian's so good about holding that stuff close to his chest that it does. It's frustrating for people. And some people will sit back and they'll say, I'm just going to wait till I see something. But those of us who have that, that knowing, <laughs> And there's people who don't know what we know who are just very confident and faithful and they're going to work. When this thing goes live and they start cutting rewards, checks, it's going to go stratospheric. What are those people who've been building going to do? They're going to be so excited. What are the people who sat back and said, I've got to wait till I see something? How are they going to feel? They're going to be very, very frustrated <laughs> because it could have been working. So I just I want to instill that for folks. This is, this is happening. This is going to happen. Is You've got a company. Somebody shared this with me the other day that, We've been in business for five weeks already, right? Quarter of a million dollars spent in, you know, tech support, in marketing, in consistently putting out these these marketing videos. That's a lot. It hasn't taken in a dime in revenue, you guys. So who does that? I'll tell you who does that. People who have made millions have very successful businesses who are looking for their billion dollar project. And there are people who have had billion dollar projects behind this project. And so I mean Brian might not like this hangout because I this way doesn't tell me much man because I'm a marketer I tell people stuff so so there you go this will be the best hangout ever right <laughs> it's gonna be all this. the dirt so. well that was like you were talking about with the massive growth in the first four weeks for everybody who's looking at this you, you've heard this we've reached eight month goals in five weeks which that brought a lot of haters a lot of bloggers a lot of crazy stuff but what it also did is it brought along a lot of venture capitalists, major firms with a lot of money who want to invest into Ripplin. It brought app developers, game developers. It brought big name product companies that you have heard of to the door saying, we want to play. It wasn't just the 600,000 people that are in the Ripple, you guys. It's the fact that at any given second, there is 20,000 fingers or touches or clicks on the website at any given second. That is so huge. Unheard of, right? Huge. So when you have that, you've got a product to move, you want to come knocking on the door too. So it's really, um, it's exciting, epic. It and it's, it, you don't need any special tools to do this really besides a phone. Right. You know, I'm just, just pick up your phone, talk to your people, invite them to look at it. It's not hard. That's right. the other thing that excites me is you don't have to be an internet marketing guru. You don't have to be, you don't, you know, my best people have not even been in the network marketing, affiliate marketing, internet marketing, any of those industries. My top players, um, can I, Leanne Parker? Yeah, absolutely. Leanne Please Parker do. is killing it. Leanne. And this is just not even her industry. She's my leader. My brother and his wife, they're, they're in second and never. They're bricks and mortar, traditional marketing people, yeah. just are killing it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so proud of them. It's so, so, it's so cool. Yeah, anyone really can do this. Really, they can. And it's... Uh, I'm proof, you know, I'm surrounded by these brilliant people who can market online, 
they can build all kinds of marketing funnels, all kinds of crazy stuff. Russell and his team, mind blowing. But I still, when I started Rippling, I did that. <laughs> That's my Rippling list. All Woo. about the list. Yep. And I just literally, um, hopefully, people have their circles of influence. You know, if you go, I always coach people, kind of on the on the being side of things. There's the doings, but there's also the beings and living a life regardless um, of what's going on around you. And what that looks like is. Um, House people to go hang out with. I go to men's meetings. I go to the YMCA every single day. So when I walk in, people go, hey, Troy. I've created communities there. Um, Sunrise Cafe. Oh, my goodness. I was there every morning during the construction days. I walk in. It's Trevor. It's Stephanie. And they know. They bring me my breakfast, right? So those are relationships that I want to be able to play with my friends. And I want to be able to offer them something that I think will absolutely benefit them. And so I just tell them I've been working on a project that has – about ready to launch, I think you'd want to be a part of it. Let me send you uh, some information, and I will text them over the startmyripple.com, or we use the Tsunami uh, Hangout pages. Okay. And it's just amazing how many people, um, it's one of those things that when some people don't, and it doesn't even bother me, it doesn't phase me because it's all timing, but the majority of people I share it with go, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And some people grab on and take off with it, and that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So a little tip there, get out there and create circles of influence. If you have none now, start today because Ripplin's going to be here six months from now, six years from now. And just share it with folks. And don't be attached to the outcomes, you guys. We've got a gal who was in this business or in Ripplin, and she had nine people. She's brought nine people into the Ripple. And she brought a guy in on a Friday. And on by Monday, she had 1,200 people in a Ripple because this dude had a huge circle of influence. So... It's not who you know, it's who you know knows, and people are begging for this. They're praying for the. I truly believe this, and I'll get off the soapbox quick, but mm -hmm. I truly believe there are people out there who are looking for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's not our responsibility, and none of our business whether a person does it. It's our responsibility to share it with enough people so they can get enough information to make that decision for themselves. And so if you want to have a mission, that's your mission. Just share it with folks, then the chips will fall where they will. That's it, and, it, and we keep it pretty simple. I mean, I, I basically ask people, have you heard of Rifflin that? Yes or no? They're already in. Great. Sorry you're not on my team. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but if not, I mean, we just it's that simple. We just share. Say, hey, would you just take a look at this? It's a social media platform. We got invited to be part of it. I, w I want you to be part of it. You do so, that so well. Do you explain it or do you point to stuff? I point because <laughs> if I'm explaining, then everyone else thinks they need to be explaining. And it, there's too much to explain. I mean, there's a lot rolled into this app. There's gamification. There's the social aspect. There's the cool business and marketing tools that um, I don't even know if that was the the cause, but that's what they're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, there's there's a ton of ways that you can use this app, and to give somebody that information would just be overwhelming. It, way it too was much. way too much information. Wait till we kind of build that relationship, get them on Hangout, point them to the videos, then we'll teach them about all that. Absolutely. I like these Hangouts. And what we've we shifted to, which has been really, really successful because it's all in one spot, is th this Hangout page that you guys are hang out, you're watching now. Right below this is the, the step two in getting started, growing your Ripple. If you click on that, you can get your own Hangout page. And you can put it out on Facebook, put it out on Twitter. And when people fill out that form to get more info, it sends you an email. And so it's building your lead list. I send the, the Hangout page to the people I personally know. Mm -hmm. I just, instead of them even filling out the form, I just say, ready for your code, and they get their code. So one tool. If you do have an email list, if you just happen to be one of those lucky people who do, does have an email list, email this. Um, I didn't test this page until the last week, <laughs> the Tsunami page, and it's converting well. People on my team are using it, cool. and it's converting very well. People get it. They can get what it's about and how they're, how simple it is to promote it. That's why I think this is working so well. Yeah. And that's, I appreciate you sharing that because it's one of those things that our success is predicated upon your success and we, we want to give you the best information we can. And, mm -hmm. and these are split testing people. I mean, these are people who take marketing tools and they'll test them and they'll find out what works best. It is working better than my own personal page that I created. <laughs> Oh. I hate to admit. Oh. But yeah, but now Russell and, and Dinley just spent 20 minutes chatting, so they're going to have so their own global have domination. Right? <laughs> cool stuff. So I want to wrap this. we got just a couple more minutes. It's going, uh, 
I'd like you to share a little bit on the gamification aspects of this because we don't really talk about that that much because it's so much information. But I think it would be fun on this hangout to sure. hear your take on what gamification will do for Ripplin. Do you know what gamification is for those of you who don't know? It's just it's a fun way to encourage people to use whatever you want them to use. This way we want them to use our app. So they've created a cool game which is going to be like quests, they're going to send you on adventures, things that they want you to do and there will be contests, leaderboards and that works. And I'm going to borrow John Carter, you know, his app mobile. He is probably, I probably one of the best gamifiers I know. <laughs> yeah. But um, he's basically taken this app called Mogul. If you're in California, you you already know of it for sure. And basically what it is is all the restaurants, if you're a restaurant in California, you're on that. You go in, you purchase a meal, and you get rewarded. So whoever gets the most points that week gets a, a $50 credit to that restaurant. So what happens is, is you have these nut jobs taking their wives there seven or eight times a week yeah. to win 50 bucks because there's a leaderboard and a contest and we're competitive by nature, which is why you know Russell was kind of my nemesis before today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a little competition. I have competitive issues. Isn't that great? But don't we all? So, or maybe not. <laughs> but um, just the weird ones. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. But he's created this process where people are loyal to his app, and even your Sky Miles is a, a really base form of. Uh, yeah. gamification. So I'll fly Delta even though it's more expensive because I know I'm going to get a free flight soon, sooner than later with, with another. So it, it's just that that's a very base form of it but the gamification that this company is bringing to the table is awesome and you, you can't see it yet sorry but it's really <laughs> cool and um, there, there's going to be future uh, development of that that's going to help you even more to market possibly your own businesses, which is actually yeah. why I was attracted to this initially. Yeah. I didn't know I would be uh, a full-on Rippler. I thought I was just going to use it to market my business. Okay. Well, now you have you created your own <laughs> Ripple, and that's one of the mm -hmm. things too with this that is uh, people will have the ability to private label the products or whatever it is that they have, and they can take that to corporate, and they can run it through the approval process, and they could put a SKU on it. And then you can market that to your specific Ripple, but you can also go into negotiations with Ripple and actually skew that, and the entire company can send that out to the entire uh, Ripple globally. So, which is huge. It really is, and for those of you who are in this early, um, it's not like people a year from now won't have some advantages. They they will, but it's just one of those things where you have the opportunity to work with people and get to meet people, the owners that will be a little more challenging down the road. So. Um, our hope for you is just that you take it very, very seriously. It is a, it is a leveler of the playing field of epic proportions. And the cool thing is, like with gamification, is we've got a guy who's a big time global coach, big time. And they took gamification technology to him. He's like, if you're not funded, we'll, I'll fund you. He says, if you are funded, I want you to utilize this for my program. And the question is, why? Why would you use this for your program? Close this out. So, well, we have people, and this is the true for any type of a coach. Uh, this is an info coach and a life coach, but he says, look, people come to an event and they get this massive experience and it's kind of like going to church. You go to church and you get all oh, so inspired, but Monday you get beat up, by Friday you're completely beat up and you need to go to church again, right? Or with, if you're a church goer. <laughs> <Talk about this. laughs> right, yeah. She's getting a little crazy. She's got to go back to church. So this, this coach is like, look, so what I can do is people can come to the weekend event with me, I can coach them, inspire them, I can send them home and on Monday with the app they can actually have, I can have quests available for them. So they can go out and meet five new people, they can read five chapters in a book, they can make five phone calls or 50 phone calls, whatever it is that the quest is and when they do that they tap the icon, it unlocks it and says a message has been sent to your coach and here's two free movie tickets for you and your partner, thanks for being a champion or something like that. Can you guys see the power of that? Can you see that with Ripplin? Having a message come down the pipe that says, here's the quest for the for the day. Download this app for free, share it with five people for free, and get whatever it is. It, money, a prize, a badge. I like the money, <laughs> so you can keep the badge. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and that's actually what I was going to do for my network marketing team, is create yeah. quests for them. In that same exact example, um, for those of you who are in a network marketing company, yeah. you know, if you get sign up as a distributor or a coach, you get you get uh, your five points. If you, yeah. you know, achieve certain levels of success and rank in certain amount of times, 
you know, you get more. So think about that for your companies. And there's a ton of ways that you can use this for marketing too. Yeah, it's a, it is. It's attracted some amazing people, and you'll start to to hear more and more about them. And so um, here's the marching orders. You guys have a wonderful. Any more? Yeah, any more nuggets, gold to to share? You know, I've got lots of nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> more hangouts. Yeah, you know, I think. The thing that people resonate on my team with when I tell them, I just want to yeah, just yeah, throw do. this out there, is the capabilities of this as a marketing and business tool. So I think that I've contacted business people because they're going to be able to use this. Yes. Um, it's like, Ripplin is like your free report. Okay. I liken it to email marketing. Have you guys ever been to a website where it says, hey, for your free report on how to lose the 10 pounds this week, you know, download this, you know, I just need your valuable information of your email. Ripplin is giving us this free report. They're giving us an amazing amount of value for our information. Okay? Yeah. So what's going to happen is we're going to be able to talk to those people in our Ripplin, in our Ripple. So we're giving the free report out to our friends so we can now communicate with them. But what's bigger than this, with this company, that I hope you guys see than other social media platforms, is I don't only have access to my friends, I now have access to build a relationship with my friends' friends. Right. That opens up my marketing channels exponentially. Right. So that's, that's huge for people. You can build a list with this, and you can market to an a lot more people than you could possibly with other social media platforms. Uh, that is huge. I'm, I'm glad you said that because that is, again, that's for people who understand marketing and ultimately, eventually, you should anyway. Is to get that those demographics, to get those numbers, and to get that data. It's like Facebook's got all of our information, everybody's information, but we don't. We have ours. We can have some of the people in our social networks. This is the, our opportunity to have that for for. Uh, ourselves for our businesses and then to communicate and share that with folks so and what you're talking about you said this like people don't realize that people have built lists already within Ripplin because they, they love Ripplin nobody had any idea that it was going to grow so quickly so it, what would normally takes people tons of money and tons of time to build a list of this they could do that in a short shorter period of time He'll a bigger list in a shorter period of time and so the great thing is I think Ripplin is going to be that standalone business that will, will take care of people. It's going to take care of a lot of people. Financially. I think so too. And I don't want to scare people like you're going to be marketed to all the time. It's going to be very similar to other social media platforms. You have to build a relationship. You know, if I were to go out and spam you guys on Facebook, you, you would probably ignore me just like you would on Ripplin. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You're still going to have to build a relationship. Well, and there's settings. So we as individual Ripplers have the ability to um, do... Uh, just like Facebook has, you can block certain people. You can <laughs> open up your your information to certain people more to certain demographics, kind of like circles within Google. So you you're in full control of this. You get to see and get what you choose. Period. So it puts you in the driver's seat. So anyway, that was it. Thank you so much for having Thanks me. For I, I sincerely can Appreciate talk all day. It.